Hi, it's David here from DP Computing again. Today we've got a Intel NUC. Uh, what is a NUC, you may say? Well, it's what's the NUC stands for Next Unit Computing, which in simple terms is just a very small computer, which we'll see in a second. Uh, this is the box it comes in, and as you can see, it's very small, the box. And I'll just open it up now and take it out. And here we actually see the um, computer. Uh, we've got the back of it here. It's got the usual ports on. We've got um, the power, HDMI, network one, and two USB ports. And that one's the um, sound out. And then we've just got on the front, we've just got a USB connector. Then on the other side, we've got one of the locks. And then on the top, we've got the on off switch. Um, just as an aside, um, just the size of it, I've just grabbed a um, Galaxy S3 here. As you can see, it's actually, the actually S3 is actually longer than the actual computer itself. So that's how small it is. Um, now to get into it, we just turn it over and we've got four screws here. One, two, three, four. I'll just unscrew those, just be a second. Now the screws themselves don't remove fully. So just unscrew it until they don't move it up anymore. And once they're done, turn the unit over and give it a bit of a shake or slight shake. And it should, the top should come, or the bottom I should say, come off. And not coming off this one, just a couple more. There we are. Now, as you can see on this bit, there's an SSD drive we've got in there, and that can take any two and a half inch drive. Now, we can, we can actually remove this bit, but we've got some cables here we just have to be careful of. So I'll recommend you remove them first. So just get a Phillips head screwdriver or something under the connectors and they should just pop up. There we go. And they may be held in by a little uh, bracket there. So just pull them to one side and the hard drive or the um, storage device will come out. Now that's the inside of that. Before I talk about that, we've just got the hard drive here. It's just held in by four more screws. So you can unscrew those. Now I have pre-loosened all these screws, so if you're wondering why it's fairly quick, then you just pull it to the side and the device comes out. And it's in its own little caddy, which is held in this one by another two screws. There's one there and one on that side. So if you want to get the drive out, just take those screws out and they'll slide out. To put pop it back in, just get it the right way around and then just slide it into the, make sure the connectors are all lined up and then just slide it in until it clicks in. Then back those screws. Now I'll just bring back the main unit. Here's the main unit and in here we can see there's a Wi-Fi module, a RAM module and then these are the connectors for the power and the SATA connection for the external hard drive. So there's not, a, not much in there but they're very small and ideal for um, basic internet or basic um, computer use and these can also be mounted on the back of a monitor. Um, this one comes with its own little mounting kit. So um, we've got that. We can screw that into the uh, mounts on the back of a monitor and then use um, on the back here. You'll see another two screw holes and it comes with a couple of screws just like this where we can screw them in. Probably won't work. Oh, no, it's no, it won't work. Just screw those those holes in there and then that mounts to the back of the monitor here. So they just go into those screws and you can just mount it onto the back. So it's a very small unit and ideal for those with space is an issue. 
and so forth. So this is the Intel one. It was the Intel, as you can see here on the box, the DN2820FYKH. Um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.